Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you how to make smart trades. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to enter a long butterfly trade inside of your Thinkorswim platform. Again, the purpose of this video is just to show you the logistics behind it, not necessarily how we trade them, what market situations, or how we should price them. Again, I just want to show you how to get the order inside of your Thinkorswim platform. So when you go to your Thinkorswim platform, again, you just want to go to the trade tab and then select the ticker symbol of whatever you want to trade. In this case, we're doing SPY, followed by the contract month. Now, butterfly trades, long butterfly trades, are usually done in the same contract months. So you don't have to worry about opening up two different contract months. You can just do the monthly contracts or the weekly contracts, whatever you want to do. Now, with a butterfly trade, you can do either the calls or the puts. So I'm going to go over both examples here. They're pretty much the same thing, so there's not too much variation here. But with a butterfly, you are basically selling two strikes that are close to at the money or maybe slightly out of the money or in the money. You're selling two and then you're buying one on either side. So it's like a one, two, one, if you will. So in this case, we might buy the 234 calls, sell two of the 235 calls, and then buy one of the 236 calls. That would be just a very simple call long ball uh, butterfly. So in this case, all you have to do is just click on the middle strike that you want to be your sell order, right click on it and go over to buy and then go up to butterfly. So once you do that, that will bring up the order dialog box. Now again, inside Thinkorswim, it always defaults to the closest contracts to your middle strike, which is the 235s that you selected. So it will naturally bring up the 234 and a half and the 235 and a half. Now if you want to make this thing wider, which in probably most cases you don't want to have a half strike wide but, uh, butterfly, then you would go ahead and just manually change these to the 234 and maybe move this one out to the 236, okay? So that would just manually change it. And again, you can see the price here, it's a little bit reflected of this new change. If you wanted to then recenter it, the best way to do it obviously is just to either close out of this order and redo it, or another way you can do it is one of our favorite techniques or tricks is to hold down the control key inside of Thinkorswim and then manually click on the strike prices that you wanna trade. So again, let's say we wanna do the 235, um, put uh, call options, we'll sell two of those. So we'll click on it twice. Holding down the control key, we might click on the 233 calls. We're gonna buy those. And then again, holding down the control key, we might buy the 237 uh, calls above the market as well. So again, now it starts to organize those trades into one single order. And the system recognizes that now you are trading a butterfly by the strikes that you selected. So very, very easy to do. If you wanted to do the put butterfly, you could just simply move this thing over and actually just go over here and just do the put butterfly. You can just literally simply copy this over and say, I want to do the puts. And you would just have to then change the strike prices that you wanted to use if you wanted to use something different than the ones that we had. So either one can work. It will basically work about the same. They should be pretty much priced the same. So you can see when we trade it back and forth, uh, there's not too much of a difference, obviously, in pricing, maybe a penny or so, depending on where the market's trading. So once you're all set and ready to go, just hit confirm and send, and the order will start working. So thank you again so much for watching this video. If you have any comments or feedback, please let us know in the comment section right below. If you enjoyed this, thought it was helpful, please consider sharing it online. Help spread the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha. And until next time, happy trading.